I needed to convert a road wheel to a hybrid wheel super fast. Keep watching and I'll show you how I did it. So my buddy's bike got stolen and I needed to build him a new one ASAP so that he could get to work and stuff like that, I guess, get around. And uh, he only wants road wheels. <laughs> So the bike I built him was a hybrid with 135 millimeter spacing and I only had road wheels that were 130 millimeters so it brought me to this emergency wheel conversion. So I've listed off the tools that you need and uh, here are the parts that you're going to need. I'm just going to list them on the top because you don't really need me to say it. It's pretty straightforward. All you're really doing is just adding five millimeters onto an axle so that a 130 millimeter wheel fits into a 135 millimeter frame. I guess I'll just talk more about uh, what happened to my buddy there. So initially, I guess last year I built him a giant uh, trailer hauler for a trailer that he he's yet to <laughs> he's yet to use. <laughs> and uh, basically, he's been using it to do his. Uh, his jobs, his odds and odd and end jobs, and uh, it's been working out for him. He used it all winter. He, he's one of those guys that uses a, a road bike like all year round. Um, you get these guys who build up their winter bikes and they use like you know the old Canadian Tire style bikes there, super cycles or whatever with the the big like you know 1.95 uh, knobby tires and. Uh, this guy, he doesn't do that. He just rides his uh, his road bike all winter. <laughs> it, it just doesn't matter to him. Now, I should mention that uh, he's somewhat uh, disabled. He, he was hit by a car and, you know, it, it, it hurt him pretty bad. So he's unable to actually have a, like a real job. So what I do to help him out is I make sure that he has a, a bike that uh, free cat grease. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I got that for free at a just discarded at a construction site. Anyways, he, uh, you know, like most people who have a disability, they, they need help. So the best way that I can do it is to just make sure that he always has a bike whenever something happens to him. Now, whatever the reason that he lost his bike, I don't know. I asked him, he didn't want... <laughs> He, he didn't want to talk about it and you know, I'm not just, I'm not going to push him. I find like old bikes that are, you know, people have discarded them. So what I do is I just take them all apart and put them back together. And now I just so happen to have this particular frame, but like I said, it's a 135 millimeter spacing in the back. So it's, it's basically a hybrid and he only likes road bikes. So because I, I do this stuff, I figured that uh, you know, I'll just uh, I'll mod it for him so that he's happy. And he won't even really know the difference because he doesn't really care. As I've heard many times before, there are some guys who are riders and there are some guys who are mechanics. Now, I guess in this case, in, in this particular relationship, I'm the mechanic and, <laughs> and he's the rider. Which is totally fine because I just love, I, I love playing with this stuff. So, I built these vedette wheels a while ago and that, I have a video here I'll I'll, uh, I can, I'll I'll try to put the card up right here and basically I had put a Tiagra rear hub which is a, a road hub into one of the rims now whenever you do these types of conversions you'll always end up with a problem with the dish so as you're gonna see right here there's a big problem I'd love to give you the remedy for that, but I'm going to make a different video. <laughs> uh oh! So don't forget to subscribe and check out the video next week.